Let's see how to install a local printer for a print device attached directly to a local port on the workstation. Let's go to the printers folder. Go to control panel and select printers and faxes. In our case we have only one printer installed. It is the virtual printer used to export documents to XPS format. Let's add another printer. Click add the printer from the left menu. The app printer wizard will appear. Click Next. We want to add a local printer attached to this computer. In general we want to automatically detect and install plug and play printers, so we will select it. Click Next. Most printers we encounter today are plug and play. They will be detected and the drivers will be installed automatically. However, in this example, Windows was unable to detect it a plug and play printer. We will add it manually, so let's click Next. We will use the LPT1 port. Click Next. Now we need to select the printer model. Let's select Alps MD1000 MS. Click Next. We will use the default name and use that printer as our default printer. Click Next. We will not share this printer at the moment. Click Next. Generally we should print a test page to make sure everything works. Click Next and click Finish. Printer that is located on local area network is often referred as Network Interface Printer. The first step in configuring a Network Interface Printer is to create a special port that identifies the printer network card. To do this we need to edit the properties of the print server. In the Printer and Faxes window, go to the File menu and select Server Properties. Go to the Ports tab. We need to add a port so let's click on Add Port. We will select Standard TCP IP port. Click New Port button. The wizard will appear. Click Next. Here we have to enter the printer name or IP address. We will enter 192.168.1.30 as the IP address of the printer and accept the default port name. The port name is the name that Windows will use to identify the logical port that we are creating. Click Next. In some cases, the printer will be auto-detected. In our case it is not so, so we need to select the interface from the list. In our case we will select Kyocera Mira Print Server. Now, let's click Next and Finish to create the port. Close the Printer Ports menu. Now we can see our new port on our print server. Let's close that window. The next step is to create a printer object that uses the port that we have just created. Let's click Add the printer again and click Next. Even though the printer is attached to the network, we have to configure the printer as a local printer. Clear the automatic detection of a printer. Click Next. In the port lease we will select the port that we have created. Click Next. Now we need to select the printer model from the list or click on the Have Disk button if we have the appropriate drivers. In our case we will select HP Office Jet V45. Click Next. We will enter HP V45 as our printer name. Click Next. We will also share this printer with the default name. Click Next. On this screen we can enter information about the printer location. Click Next. We can print a test page to see if everything is OK. Click Next and click Finish. Our printer is now installed. Let's add the printer that is attached to a different computer on the network. Let's click Add the printer to open Add Printer Wizard and click Next. We have to select a network printer or a printer attached to another computer. Click Next. We can browse for a printer, but in this case we will enter a UNC path to the shared printer. Click Next. We will get a warning about a security threat. Click Yes to continue. On the next screen we will select this to be our default printer. Click Next, and click Finish.
Notice that the icon for our new network printer is different from our local printers.